What's up, everybody? It's Yigal, and uh, happy Friday. Hope you guys are doing well, and today I want to talk to you guys about ROI, return on investment. So, um, sorry, my phone's ringing. Uh, really quickly, um, I've been having some conversations with some people about marketing these days, and the most important thing is that people often like to take away their marketing budget because they think that's a, that it's an expense, right? And I want to make sure that you all know that if you're not doing your numbers right, if you don't know what your return investment is, for example, if you have a website and if you're doing SEO, how many more phone calls have you gotten? How many more people have walked into the store? How many more emails have you had? If you're doing Facebook ads, right? Are you getting more emails? Are you getting more people uh, to click on your link? And if you're just spending money without looking at the numbers, you're going to think that it's an expense. But if you start looking at the numbers and think to yourself, okay, for every time one customer calls or one customer walks in, I make X amount of dollars. They're a customer for life. And then within the year, I make $1,000 for them. Is it worth me spending $25 for this marketing thing, right? So instead of looking at it as an expense, start looking at the ROI. What's my return on investment? If I was to invest in marketing, what needs to be what needs to happen so that it's successful? What needs to happen so that so that uh, you know I can keep paying this and not have a problem with it? And a lot of people forget to do that. And uh, but first, if you're watching, let me know. Say hello. Um, so what happens? A lot of people say to me, Egal, I don't know about any about this, you know, Facebook stuff or this marketing stuff, and I just put ads on television and that's it. Well, the question, what's, what, the question is, what's the ROI? What's your return on investment? Is it branding so just people know the name? Or is there a call to action so that people say, hey, this is, um, I came in here because I saw you offer a discount on television, on Facebook, or on radio, whatever it is that you advertise. But when you're looking at your expenses, if you're not doing your work to strategize to make it happen, it's not going to work. And you're going to get afraid and fearful of spending that money as opposed to thinking about it like an investment. So let me give you an example. Uh, one of my marketing mentors spends $275,000 a month on Facebook ads. $275,000 a month, right? He makes $550,000 a month because of it. Do you think in this downturn, he stops spending the two seventy-five? dollars no way. He's actually ramped it up to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and maybe he's not making the five fifty. Maybe he's making five hundred, or four twenty five, or four fifty. But he's he look he knows what every dollar goes in, what dollar comes out, and if you can put in a dollar and make a dollar fifty at the end of the day, or a dollar make two dollars at the end of the day, you don't cut that out. It's a great investment. So I like to share with you guys what happens in conversations that I have. You know, what does success look like? I talk with people about this as well. Hey, you go, I want to do this advertising or I want to do this with this company. And I just want to make sure that, that I'm successful. Well, what does success look like to you? And they pause and they say, that's a good question. I don't know. Well, then why don't you get some clarity on getting success, what that success looks like? Then you can make the investment in what you want to invest in. Then you can track the metrics. Right, and know the numbers, and then you can think. You know, thirty days from now, you can say, "Okay, it's working or it's not working." But if there's no strategy behind, it, if you're just going to throw the pasta, you know, I, we just cooked some pasta downstairs because it was Passover, and so I had to have some pasta. And a lot of uh, you know, they teach you that the way to know when pasta is ready is you take out a piece of pasta, you throw it on the wall. A lot of people market like that. A lot of people strategize like that. A lot of people do a lot of their pawn business like that. And they're not being entrepreneurs. They're just being workers in the front. And they're just hoping it's going to stick. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not going to stick that way. You've got to have the strategy behind how you're going to invest your money. What's the goal? What does success look like? Right? So if you have success looking like making an extra $5,000 with a $1,000 investment, let's say. You know, when you invest $1,000, if you don't make the $1,000 back right away, you don't pull out. You say, okay, what changes do I have to make, right? What changes do I have to make so that you can 
make sure that you know that your investment is getting a return. So I just want to say hi to some people. Hey, Lisa. Thanks. Ron, what's up, brother? How you doing? Uh, while my jewelry is put away, where do we send it for an expensive appraisal? You can call Morris. Uh, at, you know, he's got Jaggy Labs. And uh, he can help you. You can drive it to him. You can send it to him. It's in your backyard. And he can get you those appraisals, brother, for sure. So let me give you the link real quick. It's jaggylab.com. And I'll put the link in the stream yard here. Yeah, just drive it to Morris, hand it to him, uh, mail it to him, and then he'll he'll he does the certs. Oh, there you go, my friend. So I just posted it there. All right. It's jaggylab.com, and Lisa says Morris does a great job that he does. Right. And Ron, if you got the new magazine, I hope you got the new magazine. Um, if not, I go to paulleadersmagazine.com. Uh, he's got a great ad somewhere in here. Uh, with an awesome deal. So you want to make sure that you check that out. So check out the magazine. Here it is. That's his ad right there. Jaggy Lab. And yeah, so um, a lot of our clients, Ron, just to let you know, they are selling a ton online because of the certs. It helps a lot going Facebook Live, uh, eBay, Facebook, whatever that is. So, all right. So again, just to go back and make sure that you know your numbers when you're making an investment in anything that you do. With that, I'm going to take off. Got lots to do. Have an amazing Friday.